Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Don, the Orchid Guy. Appreciate you tuning into my channel again. Today, we are going to show you another one of my favorites from Australia. Uh, this one they often call the Australian Rock Lily. Some of the Aussies call it the King Orchid, but this is uh, Dendrobium speciosum. This is found throughout Australia, uh, on the mostly on the eastern coast. Uh, from the northeastern coast all the way down through the south around Sydney. There are about nine, roughly nine, naturally occurring uh, varieties, and this is one of them. This is actually the variety called Speciosum. And uh, this one is just on the verge of going out. I noticed my flowers didn't last quite as long this time, but still got a few in good shape here. Um, this one, I've noticed the flowers don't last quite as long as they do on, I've got another one, uh, Josephine, which is actually a hybrid with this as one of the parents. I think you guys probably saw the video on that one. But you can tell these flowers actually have a little bit different shape to them. Let's see if I can get one that's nice and open here. Here we go. So you can look and see they've got a really nice lip, kind of a spade shaped lip with one big division in it about two thirds of the way out. It's kind of scooped. These flowers are much more open and starry. They have uh, longer flower segments and it kind of gives the inflorescence a little bit of a shaggy look, which is kind of cool. Uh, I had these in the house for a couple of days because frankly the fragrance is amazing. Uh, what happens though is if you take them out of the sun and into cool conditions, the flowers want to close up. These are definitely at their best when they're outside in the sun and the warmth everybody should grow this plant it's so easy to grow uh, this takes uh, can take full Sun in fact it likes really bright light and it blooms in December and January here in Central Florida where not much else is happening it's a beautiful plant wonderful fragrance flowers last oh about seven to ten days on it not terribly long but you know you get some nice enjoyment out of them these are on the verge of going out. That was the first spike to open up. <clears throat> but it's a really cool flower, really cool plant, easy to grow. You see I've got a couple of nice new growths breaking here. This tends to flower first on last year's completed bulbs and then it goes ahead and throws out uh, new growth as the flower spikes are fading. Great plant though can tolerate temperatures from you know, near 100, up in the 90s, definitely all the way down, right close to freezing. In fact, some of my Aussie buddies tell me this will actually tolerate some frost as long as temperatures are, excuse me, as long as it's dry when that happens. They don't like to be wet and cold at the same time, but they can handle pretty chilly temperatures. So seriously easy plan to grow. Every one of you, each and every one of you should go out and find one. And you should definitely grow it if you want an easy, spectacular orchid. This is definitely one of them. Once again, Dendrobium speciosum. One of the eight or nine varieties. This one is called the variety speciosum. Thanks a lot for watching.